Welcome, Achievers, to MySciences.com. This is Mr. Aguirre with another online lab. Today's lab comes from the California Whole Earth Science Edition. It's a Making Models lab found on page 266 entitled Seafloor Spreading. The California standard is 3A, Features of the Ocean Floor. The objective is to identify how magnetic patterns are caused by seafloor spreading. Some of the supplies you will need is a shoebox. You're going to need some scissors and you go down the middle of the box make a slit that's eight centimeters in length. This represents the mid-ocean ridges. You're going to need two strips of white paper. They're going to be 30 centimeters in length and seven centimeters in width. This is going to represent the magma coming out of the seafloor or the mid-ocean ridge. You're going to need obviously your scissors and a ruler, some tape, because you're going to want to tape your two strips at one end. And this one is already made, but you can see that the two strips have been taped at one end. I prefer two different colors. Any colors will do. So you're going to need some markers. You're going to put the slits through your, sorry, the papers through your slit. And maybe about two centimeters, pull two centimeters out, and then start marking. So again, the slit itself represents the mid-ocean ridge. The paper that's coming out represents the magma turning into the seafloor, which is the lava. And the, the lines represent the reverse polarities, or the polarities on the ocean floor. And since the Earth changes polarity at irregular intervals, you do have symmetry along the mid-ocean ridge, but you will not necessarily have symmetry on the magnetic patterns. So you continue to just pull them out, creating your patterns, and then until you're done with the paper, then you have this. So some of the questions for analyze or analysis and conclusion is, number one, evaluating models. How does this activity model seafloor spreading? Number two, analyzing models. What do the marker rep strips in the model represent? Number three, analyze method. If each two centimeter mark on the paper is equal to three million years, how could you use your model to determine the age of certain points of the seafloor? And applying conclusion, you are given only the paper strip with the marks already drawn on them. How would you use the paper strips to reconstruct the way in which the seafloor was formed? An extension is to design a model that shows what happens at a convergent boundary and what happens at a transform boundary, and then present this model to the class. So this is Mr. Aguirre from MySciences.com, signing off.